Joining us now, former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, Fox News contributor as well. Newt, uh, you have a list, too, of things that Biden should talk about tonight but won't. What did I miss? No, I thought you're right on target. I think he, first of all, should withhold the $100 million until all the hostages are released. And let's not kid ourselves. If Hamas is still alive, Hamas is going to get the money. So the, de the destruction of Hamas, the release of the hostages, should predate any American aid uh, to Gaza. Second, he ought to be honest about Iran's role in all this. Uh, the Biden policy enriched the Iranian dictatorship, made it more possible for it to support terrorism else everywhere, uh, and he ought to confirm. He ought to confront Gutter about the fact that they have the Hamas leaders who are still sitting right there in very comfortable places with no threats. He should, in fact, say openly, we support Israel in the total destruction of Hamas. When he said that on the plane on the way back about the other team, it was sickening. As it could imply some, there's two teams, the Israelis and the terrorists. No, they're not two teams. They're civilization. And there are people who behead babies. Let's be, let's be clear here. Uh, there's not a team game here. There's a horrifying, evil force that needs to be destroyed. Uh, frankly, before we give money to, to Ukraine, and I support helping Ukraine, uh, one, they ought to give them the most advanced tactical missiles, which they have refused to do. Uh, two, we should have a complete audit. I don't see any reason why we're paying the, the Ukrainian civil service, why oh, we're ridiculous. providing uh, basically social welfare. Um, th that, that's nutty. That, that's sort of the great society goes to Ukraine. Uh, so I think that I, I, uh, I'd be very careful Newt, I, yeah. about combining the two. I think, Newt, one of the, the most obvious disconnects here for the American people is that we are simply refusing to do what is necessary on our border. And so millions and millions of people have come in, including a lot from s countries that sponsor terrorism. We don't know what, where they are. We don't know what they're doing. Maybe some of them are just working. But the point is, we're, we're spending hundreds of billions of dollars overseas, yet our own country, slowly but surely, is completely being overrun, in certain parts of the country especially, by migrants. Look, I, I think it would be perfectly reasonable for the Republicans in Congress to include a profound change in our border policy uh, as part of any package and just say, we're not going to go forward unless we get this worked out. You have, I think, the worst administration since Buchanan, who presided just before the Civil War, and maybe even beginning to be worse than Buchanan. Uh, it is appalling how bad this administration is in every way, whether it's controlling the border, yeah. stopping fentanyl, go down the list. Uh, this is a very dangerous, very bad government. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't right. give them any money because I don't trust them. And I, I think I think until our own border is secure, I don't think any of this makes a lot of sense. But, Newt, I mentioned this a moment ago. The White House posted this photo to Instagram last night with the faces of our special operators revealed. So, Newt, this put a bounty on the head, heads of these men. I want to know who the heck is getting fired for this, or is this just like the, the withdrawal from Afghanistan? No one ever loses their job. No one ever apologizes. There is zero accountability for failure. Zero. Well, you know the answer to that. This was an utterly incompetent administration, which lies every single day. Uh, and which has, frankly, has no sense of respect for the American military. Uh, and I think that it's pretty clear uh, that this was just a photo op. I mean, the whole trip, when you look at it and you think about the fact that nothing really good came out of it, uh, was, an, it was, I think, a pathetic effort at propping up Biden for re-election. And if anything, I think it will leave him weaker as people think deeply about how many different ways the Biden administration has strengthened terrorism, strengthened Iran, weakened our allies, uh, and basically failed to do its job. Newt, great to see you tonight. Thank you so much.